bed. Up, up. I have to make the bed. Up. Come on, I have to change the sheets and make the bed. Up, up, up. Oh, my camo, you wouldn't see me. Yeah, I see, all right. I see ya. All right. Every morning in SEAL training, my instructors, who at the time were all Vietnam veterans, would show up in my barracks room, and the first thing they'd do was inspect my bed. If you did it right, the corners would be square, the covers would be pulled tight, the pillow centered just under the headboard, and the extra blanket folded neatly at the foot of the rack. It was a simple task, mundane at best, but every morning we were required to make our bed to perfection. It seemed a little ridiculous at the time, particularly in light of the fact that we were aspiring to be real warriors, tough, battle-hardened SEALs. But the wisdom of this simple act has been proven to me many times over. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made, that you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. So if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. That was a clip from the Navy Sea Admiral at a commitment address in 2014. I've always enjoyed listening to his message. Making the bed seems tedious and unnecessary, but my day never gets started without it. And it does make a difference. Now that, my friends, is how you make a bed.
Did you make it? Did you get a video? I just made it all pretty. Oh, oh, it has a little bit of 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 a